News and Release Date Really important news today guys a big. New design change is happening with the iPhone 15 models this year that we've been told about previously there is also lots of other details of other changes to the iPhone 15 to the iPhone 15 Pro Max compared to the current iPhone 14 models that I'll also be sharing with you and of course I'll be telling you the latest on the iPhone 15 Pro Max release date and price so first of all one rumor that I want to sort out is the new iPhone 15 Ultra model that has been rumored to be coming this year previously we were told that the iPhone 15 Ultra looked like it was coming but it looks like now it's not going to be happening at least until the iPhone 60 models come out next year in 2024 it is very likely that an iPhone Ultra will come along as we already now have the Ultra name in an Apple M chipset and also in the Apple Watch Ultra also other rival companies like Samsung and Xiaomi use the Ultra name already so it does make sense for Apple to start naming their top layer iPhone models with this name going forward so with around about 6 months to the release of the iPhone 15 models there are still lots of leaks and rumors coming out about it so let's talk about the latest roundup of reports and leaks so a new report has come in this week about last minute design changes to the iPhone 15 models as you may already know we've been told the iPhone 15 was meant to be getting tactic buttons similar to what we have with the home button on say the iPhone SA we've been told that we're going to be getting a volume rocker and also an action button what's in the same place as the mute button right now on current iPhones however the action button could be programmed to say take a photo or say turn on your flashlight for Example, the new reports that have come in have told us that Apple will no longer be putting taptic buttons inside any of the iPhone 15 models this year. And it's been delayed out to the iPhone 16 next year. However, there is one thing that is not clear is if that volume rocker design what you can see here and also the action button is going to be Staying will just be a normal sort of quasi button behind it reports are showing that Apple have had difficulties at adapting so many taptic buttons and I've not made it 100 clear why they've decided to push it out another year but it does seem likely that we will have to wait 2024 with the iPhone 16 to get at least the taptic buttons inside now before I continue on now is a good time. More than ever to mention that all reports and leagues that you are seeing here are not 100 proof that they'll be coming with the new iPhone I can only present to you of what reports or information out there and renders on based on the information as you can see here of everything that we've been told. So far, so the final iPhone may not look like this. However, if you've been watching this video, then you are as curious I'm in knowing what is being about said the next iPhone anyway. So with the latest report out of the way, let's do the release date prediction. Specs and prices next of all, so nothing official has come out on the release. Date, but we do have a very good the idea of the iPhone 10 when the iPhone 15 will be coming out. Based on the last six years of history of iPhone releases, if we go way back to 2018, we saw the release of the iPhone 10s, and also we saw the release of the iPhone 10. Are the 10s came out on September 21st, but the 10 are came out on October. 26th and then moving to the iPhone 12. Models the release dates for this was 
October the 23rd and November 13th, and the main reason behind this was definitely because of COVID in 2020 but as you can see here with these two years of examples you can see that mainly the release date has been the end of September to the end of October time with the main exception of 2020 like I said because of COVID however back in 2021 we got the iPhones back on there main sort of schedule and the release was the end of September with all four models of the iPhone on September 24th. Then last last year, in 2022 the iPhone event happened on September 7th and that the pre-orders started a few days later. On Friday, September 9th and then some of the iPhone 14 models were in our hand a week later on October 16th all the way to October 7th for 2022 the event for the iPhones happened a little bit earlier than the last few years but it's not unheard of so for example the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus were also came out on the same day or the announcement was the same day what was September 7th back in 2016 but I think you get any overall message here for the iPhone 15. It's targeted to come out around mid-September this year for the release. And probably the actual event will happen about a week or so before unless there is a massive problem with components or let's say another pandemic happens for example so then guys just give away. Quickly this channel recently got over. Half a million subscribers once is. Absolutely amazing and you can check out. The video on my channel to see who won. Those prizes but we're doing another. Giveaway now and this giveaway is going. To be happening around the sort of. Mid-June time some point after WWDC and. That this giveaway this time guys I'm. Going to be giving away three prizes the first two prizes are runner up prizes, and that are some AirPods too. And also, I'm going to be giving away some AirPods free as well. What's absolutely amazing! Then the main prize I'm going to be giving away so one lucky subscriber is one of these. It is an iPhone 13 Pro Max in the silver white color, and I'm going to be giving this away so one lucky subscriber and all you need to do to enter in is basically put your opinion in the comment below of the report of this video or tell me what Apple technology gear you're planning to buy or hopeful to get in 2023 as I already said guys the giveaway is happening in June time so if you're brand new to this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get that notification of when that giveaway is happening in June time so make sure you do that right now. Now something else I just want to quickly say there are lots of imposters out there a lot of them faking to be me telling you that you've won yourself like an iPhone or another prize and basically these people are telling you to part with some of your money to pay for shipping this is not me at all if you get a WhatsApp or Telegram or bin told to send one of these messages make sure you do not do it this giveaway that I am doing is an international giveaway and I'll be paying for the postage taxes and all of that so if you do get a message to say that you've won an iPhone, for example, and basically you need to pay for the shipping please do report it. Here on YouTube all you have to do is click on the comments and basically click report and YouTube will do the rest just make sure you do not part with any of your money to these scammers out. There so to summarize again and all you need to do is comment on as many videos 
I create out there to enter in and also at the same time make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be in the chance to win one of these free prizes and with that guys it's back to the video price specs and models so next of all let's do a summary of everything we know so far including the price for the iphone 15 all the way up to the iphone 15 pro max or the iphone 15 ultra so starting up with the iphone 15 so this is just the normal iphone 15 model it will again have a 6.1 inch oled display and it'll have a resolution of 2532 by 1170 and finally it looks like that a pro motion display could be coming to the iphone 15 so this is gonna be really exciting with 120 hertz inside airware expecting 6 gigabytes of ram again in the iphone 15 it'll have a 128 gigabytes all the way up to 1 terabyte storage option whereas before it only went up to 512 gigabytes so this is going to be really exciting to see this that we have that extra option and then also we'll have the a16 bionic chipset so this is the same sort of chipset that we have got inside the iphone iphone 14 pro models except for there's one slight difference as you will see in a second so the cpu will have four efficiency cores two performance cores but they'll have a four core gpu instead of a five core gpu what's inside the iphone 14 pro models the body will be an aluminum body and again it will have that dual camera on the back of a wide and ultra wide camera lenses the battery size expects to be around the same and this might change slightly but at the moment stands at 3095 milliamps so that's the battery side and the base model will be coming in for the 128 gigabyte model at 899 us dollars and this is member four the us sort of pricing so in other countries it could be a little bit more but moving on to the iphone 15 plus it will have a 6.78 inch display again this will be an oled display and the resolution of this one will be 2778 by 1280 again rumored 120 hertz pro motion display is finally coming to the normal 15 and the 15 plus that's really exciting again same specs 6 gigabytes of ram the option of 128 gigabytes of storage all the way up to one terabyte so extra one terabyte storage option has been added so this is really exciting to see in a 16 chipset very similar to the iphone 14 pro models so this will have a full efficiency cores to performance cores except for this time it will have a four core gpu instead of the five core GPU that we have inside the Pro models of the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max, they also have an aluminum body again, dual cameras of a wide and ultra wide camera lens with some extra bits and pieces inside that and the battery size of this one at the moment looking around to be the same size as the iPhone 14 Plus. So That'll be about 4 352 milliamp battery. Size the base model of this the 128. Gigabyte model will be coming in at 999. US dollars other countries it might be a little bit more or might be a little bit less. Then we have the iPhone 15 Pro again. It'll be a 6.1 OLED display resolution. 2532 by 1170 it will also have that 120 hertz pro motion display inside it and this time for the first time ever will have 
8 gigabytes of RAM inside an iPhone. Storage options looks like they're going to change slightly so will actually be starting at 256 gigabytes as the smallest space available that you can pick and this will be going all the way up to 2 terabytes this time that's what we've been hearing there's some rumors but it might still stay at 1 terabyte we're not too sure at this stage but the other thing as well as we will be getting an S17 Bionic chipset inside it again very similar architect to previous chipsets where this will have a full efficiency course too performance cores and a 5 core GPU but the actual body of the iPhone 15 Pro actually be made out of titanium this time it won't be made out of aluminum or aluminum depending where you are in the world and you'll also have a triple camera setup and also have that lidar sensor again the battery size at the moment is looking to be about the same size as the iphone 14 pro so this is 3095 milliamp battery size and the base model of the 256 gigabyte model will be coming in at 1099 us dollars and again i will mention that other countries it might be a little bit more or a little bit less on release than finally we have the biggest iphone of them all the iphone 15 pro max or the iphone 15 ultra the name is going to be confirmed a bit more nearer the time but it will be coming in at 6.78 inch display there'll be an oled display at 2778 by 1280 again this will be a pro motion display 120 hertz one it will again have 8 gigabytes of ram up or from 2 gigabytes more of the 6 gigabytes that we got with the iphone 14 pro max and storage options again will start at 256 gigabytes this time going all the way up to the room of 2 terabytes was really exciting out there but it may also still be 1 terabyte but main thing is what's most likely going to happen is the storage size is going to be up to 256 gigabytes we will also be getting the a 17 bionic chipset very similar architect to the S16 it'll have 4 efficiency cores 2 performance cores and they'll also have a 5-core GPU again. So that's really really cool we'll also get that new titanium body on this iPhone 15 Pro Max or the iPhone 15 Ultra. And we'll also get a triple camera setup. But one of those cameras will have a 6 times or a 10 times optical zoom what's really really exciting we will also still get the usual wide and ultra wide sort of sensors too and we'll also be getting the lidar sensor the battery size at the moment we've been told it's probably going to be around the same sort of size as last year's so this is for 352 millimeters yeah battery size but this could change nearer the time the base model of the 256 gigabyte model will be coming in at 1299 US dollars now this is going to be a little bit more than compared to other previous years main reason is because of that brand new optical zoom and also possibly because of that brand new ultra name but like i have said guys this is the pricing for the US and other countries it could be a little bit more or it could be a little bit less so there we go guys, that is the list of specs of all four iPhone 50 models and as I said that guys it is still very early based on what we know in this list will change or continue to grow over time but if you would do want to get more of a sort of complete picture in the future and also the latest on leaks and reports make sure you 
subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell but for now guys with this video if you have enjoyed it also make sure you hit the like button and i will see you really soon take care thank you for watching video please subscribe for watch more new videos bye bye